Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the vlog. It's about 9 a.m. at the moment, and whew, I have a lot of stuff to do today. Lots of errands, lots of exciting things are happening today, so I thought I would do a vlog for you guys. I also have some really exciting packages that are supposed to come in today, so hopefully they do. Fingers crossed, because I've been waiting for these for a little bit now, and let's go. Let's go get ready. Okay, this is my first time doing my makeup here in my studio. I actually love this natural light that I get from the window. I have my makeup in this little Bulgari travel bag. Andrew and I actually got one of these when we were flying Emirates, like about two years ago. We went to, um, where did we go? We went to Milan, Florence, and Paris, and then on the way back we flew Emirates, which was, oh my gosh, it was so amazing. Like. I like really like fancy things, but even I was like blown away by this flight. Like my gosh, we did first class and it was, woo! I do get a lot of um, questions or comments about my skincare routine, my face, and honestly, it's not even like that exciting. I try to make it as simple as possible as far as my makeup. And I actually suffered from really well, I suffered from like mild to moderate cystic acne growing up like when I was in college and I didn't get, I didn't control it until like two years ago. I actually took Accutane. So what happens is I get really bad redness and I still have pigmentation from when I used to break out uh, a lot. So can you tell I'm getting uncomfortable? That's like, <laughs> Very touchy subject for me, but I will say the secret to good looking skin on camera is good makeup. Actually, this is not like a makeup tutorial. So I'm just gonna show you really quick what I use. I honestly only use three products for my base, which is a Milk Hydro Primer. I use the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless, Flawless? Flawless Airbrush Finish Foundation, and then I use her powder as well to set everything. And this is how I get that matte, really kind of smooth finish. So anyway, let's get started. Is it the FedEx truck? Oh, no, it's not. Okay. False alarm. Anyone else get like really excited when you know you are expecting a package and you are home to sign for it or wait for it? Yeah, that's like the best thing. Best feeling ever. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. Okay, now it's time to set it and forget it. This is my secret to super smooth matte skin is to get a powder puff and I use the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Airbrush Finish Powder and I swipe it like once and I essentially just kind of make sure I'm pressing everything in. This helps to really lock in your face and give you that really smooth finish. Conceal, don't feel, set it and forget it. I don't wanna waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us and love is all we'll ever trust. Yeah, no, I Looks good. I don't know what to wear for the DMV. I'm just renewing my license. Hmm. hmm. Might be too much for the DMV. Okay, you guys, I just got dressed. I thought I would put something a little bit nicer since I'm trying to take a photo for my driver's license renewal. So. I put on this white top. It's actually from Zara. I wear this all the time. I love like these kind of billowy sleeves and my denim is from Gucci. I wore this in my Shop With Me video, but whatever. You guys know I wear my clothes all the time. This bag is brand new. It's by Stowed. I love the shape. It's so chic. It almost has like a 70s feel and my shoes are from Mango. Um, I'm gonna try to link something similar if I can find them online and I'm gonna leave it down below in the description box. My new YouTube video just went live. It's actually a shop with me. I just launched it on Instagram and on social media 
And now I really have to get going. I have to get started with my day. Let me just make sure everything is going as planned. And ooh, this is a good one, you guys. And to Home Goods in about a week, and I am itching to go. Yeah! Ah. Okay, let's go. I have to go get some coffee, and yeah, let's get this day started. Okay, good morning. I think I would like to do a... Can I get a regular sized Mexican mocha latte? You want it hot or iced? Um, iced please. Okay. And can I do the passion fruit croissant as well? Sure. Can I get that warmed? Okay. Okay, I do get asked um, often about my lips and my lip color and this might shock you I actually don't wear any lipstick. It's just um, I Just use a balm kind of very hydrating balm and I feel like when I have makeup on the color of my lips Just really kind of shines through and it looks like I'm wearing something, but I'm not we love that Okay, I just got a text from my mom that my packages arrived now the DMV is probably gonna have to just wait because these packages are whoo, so important. Yum. Mm. Oh my gosh, so good. Okay, you guys, let's go to my parents' house and let's go open up some boxes. Wait, come back. Come here. Oh, hello. Hello. Ah! Hello. That was our dog, Noah. He's a little Yorkie. My mom is literally hiding behind the kitchen island. <laughs> Girl, it is a mess in here. <laughs> I know where I'm filming. <laughs> okay, wait, before I start filming, look at this little cute coffee table moment my mom did here. Love the Tom Ford book. That's that um, Studio McGee Target piece that I gave her a while ago. And okay, mom, she's stepping up her decor game. Here is the package. Um, I've already kind of opened up the brown box, but inside we have another box. Um, whew, I'm getting nervous, but also excited. I just took it out of that brown box and as you can see from the packaging, it is in fact from Gucci. Now, this is a very special, special? A very special unboxing because this is a holy grail kind of handbag. Now, I used to love buying like a bunch of bags like all the time. It was my obsession and I kind of, uh, I kind of stopped doing it. Like handbags don't make my heart sing anymore like how it used to. But this is a, whew, this is different. And let me just take her out of the dust bag and let me just show you what I am talking about. Are you ready? Oh my God, I'm seeing a peak. Oh my gosh. You guys. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry, let me just, let me just take a moment and stare at her for a little bit. Let's stare at her together. I don't wanna to talk too much about the handbag, but let me just show you. It is a Gucci um, handbag in the most stunning kind of cocoa brown color. Um, it is a Croco bag, and I don't wanna to speak too much about exotic handbags, but if you know, you would know. This is a very special piece. I can't even deal. It actually has a chain strap that goes along with it. So let me just take her out like so. This just makes me feel like a boss, you guys. Like imagine going to a work meeting with this on. I mean, oh my God. Ah, I can't believe I got to unbox this with you guys. It's so pretty. I am about to go finish the rest of my errands. Say bye to my parents. Oh my gosh, do you wanna see old photos of me? Oh my gosh, you guys, that's me with long hair and no glasses. 
And then that's my brother Aaron to the left. Those are my parents. Oh my God, all these old photos. This is when my brother got married. I was wearing the most horrid suit. I won't even go to that backstory, but anyway. Hey everybody, I just made it to Target and I am picking up some new tank tops. You guys know that I love, 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 love their slim fit tanks. And I saw that it is available in a new color, kind of a brown taupey color. Guys, it is so hot. Thank you. Thanks. Okay, I got my Target order. I got my tank tops in here. I actually ordered two. So now I'm gonna go home. Oh, what's wrong? Mm. Hello. Mm. Where are you going? Okay. Hey, everybody. I just got home. I am. Let me show you these tank tops really quick from Target because, girl, they are everything. So I bought two of them and it's a really pretty kind of taupe color. I feel like it's really hard to find this color in a tank top that's like affordable and good quality, you know? It is a slim fit and only $8, you guys. So I had to get two because they had two available. So I'm gonna link them down below for you. That way, if you want them, by the way, how amazing are these fragments pillows on my couch? Um, we bought this couch when we first moved in and it's from Pottery Barn. We actually had a really bad experience with the couch. It looked, it took so long and it was like, whew, never again am I buying a couch from Pottery Barn. But if I were to do it all over again, knowing what I know now about decor, I would totally get a white couch and I feel like I get that light and airy vibe using the pillows and kind of just like mixing and matching them um, yeah anyway I'm just gonna watch some YouTube while I am here waiting for my package by the way comment down below um, let me know who some of your favorite creators are as far as home decor or vlogs I'm constantly looking for new people to watch like I only have a rotation of like three, four, or five. So not a lot. Comment down below if you know anyone good to watch. Okay, I actually have another unboxing to show you because it's another piece from Gucci. And I thought I would show you this because it's actually a piece of decor. Um, so let me just show you really quick. Gotta be careful because I don't want it to break. So the packaging looks like this. So it is, oh, it has a little, never seen this before. What does this say? Oh, anyway, it is a decorative kind of piece. It's a mug, but it has a top. And I just thought that detail is stunning and it's black and white. So I feel like it will match my home decor really nicely. And it's made of, Richard Ginori porcelain, all handmade in Italy. We love that. Ah, so chic. Can you imagine having tea? Like, yes, so good. I just changed into the new tank top and look how good this color is. I'm gonna go brave the DMV line, hopefully. I can get accommodated today. It's really hot outside and this is depressing because there was a huge line at the DMV. It literally snaked around the building and it's 106 degrees here in Vegas. There is no freaking way I'm staying in that line. Not with my whew, hot flashes. If you guys are new, I get really hot red ears when it's hot outside, yet I live in a desert. <laughs> Actually, Andrew and I are planning our exit out of Las Vegas because we can't stand the summers here anymore. And yeah, so what do I do? I am, I'm here at Home Goods, and this won't be like a shop with me or anything like that. I'm just gonna take you along and see if there's anything cute here. It's actually the one by, is that focused? 
It's actually the one by my house, which doesn't get a lot of good stuff, so. We are inside. I don't even know why I'm here again. I was here yesterday, didn't find much, but you never know with home goods. You just have to look and check often. That's how you find the best deal. Oh my gosh, here I am bumping into mirrors. Great. Okay, that mirror is kind of fun. It's a little too small. Only $49.99, but I like the intricate details. Cute, I wish they had a bigger one, you guys, right? Oh, I changed. Here's the shopping outfit. Okay, ew, this aisle always has the worst things. Like, oh no, no, no. Bye. All right, food is here. What are you doing? Getting ready for my exam. Oh. All right, you guys, so I just got home. Um, I got some Chick-fil-A because we are starving and here in our home, we call Chick-fil-A hate chicken. Isn't that right, babe? It's hate chicken. <laughs> the T is Chick-fil-A hates the gays and they support Trump, but their chicken is good, so. And we'll grow in number, okay, so I do want to show you what I did to that Magnolia home pillow that I got from Home Goods in my last video. It's here in the living room, and currently, it's just on this little accent chair. The layout of our living room is constantly changing. I am learning and, you know, learning what I like and seeing what I like, and it's all about just, you know, it's all about like the process of decorating that I enjoy the most. Okay, everybody, I am about to leave the house. I'm gonna go back to my parents, go visit them, my nieces are gonna be there. I'm gonna take my camera, but I don't know if I can vlog, um, cause it's family time, you know? We'll see. Say hi, baby. Hi. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is no joke. Good morning, everybody. It is the following day, and today is gonna be a very chill day. No errands to do, just kind of clean up around the house and I'm actually gonna clean my studio here in a little bit because I unboxed a lot of packages yesterday and I have to unbox another item today. It's actually a new desk that I'm gonna be trying out. I'm gonna be showing that to you in a little bit, but I'm gonna go ahead and clean the room. Okay, you guys, so Andrew and I are trying out this standing desk by FlexiSpot and he is actually building it right now and we're gonna put it in my studio. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. I think the table part is still in the garage, but I'm excited to see how this turns out. All right, everyone, here is the brand new desk. Thank you so much to my friends over at FlexiSpot for sending this over. The best part about this table is it's actually a adjustable height table. So what you could do is just, oh, my God, so if you want a standing table, here you go. The inner tech nerd in me is like so amazed by this table because now you can just, you know, you can, you can dance, you can work, and it can promote a healthier um, lifestyle when you're working from home. So we love that, but I'm actually going to use this more as a regular desk. So I feel like this is great here for my studio when I'm editing. So let me just press this button and watch her go down, and we are going to style this little setup together. So let me just go grab a few things and start styling it up. This chair that I'm using is actually our dining chair. I got this from Amazon, and it was so affordable, you guys, and it's so stylish. So I'm gonna link these down below if they are still available. I always like adding black into my um, design. So this basket is from Crate and Barrel. It's part of the Leanne Ford collaboration. And even though you are in your office, I like to add the cozy factor. So I'm going to put it, put her right there. And I'm just going to, I'm going to drape this linen pottery barn blanket, just kind of drape it to the side. And this just helps to add that coziness. This blanket, by the way, is super luxe. It's from um, Pottery Barn. I don't know if I said that already. This pillow is from Home Goods. It's by 
Magnolia Home. You would have seen it if you watched my Shop With Me video, and I'm just gonna put her right here for extra comfort. I always like adding some verticality when it comes to designing a vignette or space, or in this case, a little out, and it's not complete without a branch. I love how simple and minimal this looks. It's already looking so nice, and I think we need a few more elements like that. Okay, I'm liking that already. Situate that like right there. Okay, oh, I don't like that red. Getting rid of that. Last but not least, a beautiful candle from Modev. This is Santal, Santal Blossom, and one of my favorite scents. Whew, smells so good. You can go ahead and check them out down in the description box. Use code ARVIN to get 15% off. I absolutely love how cozy this is. Just a few little design elements can really help make a big difference, especially when you are working from home. All right, everyone, I think I'm gonna end the vlog right here. Sound off in the comments down below and let me know how I did on my first vlog and if I should do more of these in the future. Don't forget to check out Flexi Spot down below in the description box. Hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, everyone.